you're back at the Madcap Toys headquarters. My name is Kathy. And even though it's past Valentine's Day, as you know uh, from the previous videos, uh, we were going to um, shoot a video of giving each other Valentine's Day gifts that we bought each other. What the holdup has been is that my second gift to Darren was actually on hold in the post office due to the significant winter storm that we had uh, just a, a couple of days ago. So according to the post office, it should be delivered today. So I'm excited. He has no idea what I bought him and I have no idea what he bought me. So it's going to be fun exchanging gifts. Actually, to celebrate uh, Valentine's Day, even though it's belated, um, I'm wearing a, a heart shirt to kind of celebrate uh, Valentine's Day anyway. And we're going to have lots of fun today. So stay tuned. You guys, I have been waiting for this for the last week. This is so exciting. So these are the two gifts that Darren had bought me, like I just said a minute ago. Um, I don't know what he got me. I've sent him a list of things, ideas, and um, you know he, ha he has usually a list uh, of things that he sees. So I'm excited to see what these two are. So Darren, which one do you want me to open first? Go the one on the left. This one here? No, on my, my left. left. His left. Yes. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay, I will I will calm the excitement so you guys don't think I'm crazy, but I do get so when I open gifts. Um, okay, so I'm not going to look at the invoice. There's an invoice here. Oh my goodness, guys. <laughs> I love it. This is great. So this is the first of my Valentine's Day gifts. Look at these guys. Funko Pops. And they're Barbie. Isn't this exciting? All right, so look at this. It looks like he's got me three different kinds, okay? So there's one here, one here, and one there. And so I'll explain each one of them. So I'm an 80s girl, and I didn't really get to collect a lot of Barbies as a kid. I had a few. My mom was great, you know, buying what's the Sears and Robot uh, catalog. But there were some special Barbies that were in the 80s that I really liked. And uh, here's a few of them. So first one here is Barbie, Barbie and the Rockers Barbie. So I'm pretty excited about this. I actually have a vintage Barbie and the Rocker Ken in its original form. And I'll probably do some videos on Barbie and the Rockers and some different Barbies that I have here. But I always wanted to have, you probably seen if you are my age or, or have seen it on video, on the Barbie and the Rockers, um, they were kind of going up against another type of fashion doll, as you know, Gem and the Holograms. So I would watch the commercials on both of these Barbie and the Rockers would come on, the Gem and the Hologram. So, of course, as a young little girl, I wanted both. I didn't get both. That's okay because now, um, as a toy dealer, I've got both. So, I have a Barbie and the Rockers doll as well as a Gem and the Hologram doll. So, I'm going to continue that collection. But here is the Barbie and the Rockers Funko. So, it's really awesome. She looks cool in her, her 80s garb. So, I really love that. And then in the second one is Barbie Peaches and Cream Barbie. I do believe, and you may check my eBay or Macar and Macari store to check it out, I do think I have a Peaches and Cream Barbie in our inventory. So um, uh, if I do, uh, let me know in the comments below, but I do think I do have one. But this one was very cool. Um, she has a really roughly peach uh, outfit uh, flowing really nicely, and she's just really pretty in the box. So this is another one that I really like there, the, and the Funko Pop. And thirdly, over here, another Barbie. It's Day to Night Barbie. Not too familiar with her. I've seen, um, you know, I've had a lot of Barbies here along the way come and go. Some I still have in my collection. Not too familiar with Day to Night Barbie. If you are, please let us know in the comments below. Tell me a little bit about it. But uh, I noticed that it was part of the uh, Barbie Retro Toys collection. If you notice on the back, it actually shows the entire co uh, collection set. So this is act an actual set. Not something that's individual. So Barbie and the Rockers, Peaches and Cream Barbie, and the Day to Night Barbie. So Darren bought me the entire set. So Darren, thank you so much. I'm so excited. So I love these Funkos. I'm a Funko fan. Most of all, I'm a Barbie fan as well. So thank you so much for this set. I really appreciate it. So going on to the next. I'm excited about this. So I don't know what it is, but I'm excited. Oh my goodness. You won't believe this. <laughs> oh my goodness. If you guys don't know already, this is Rainbow. This is a personally 
rainbow bright, but this is the 1983 rainbow bright. So what you're seeing here is actually what you would have saw on the store shelves in 1983. So this particular fella is Red Butler, that's the boy, and then his friend Romeo Sprite, if you can see him in the corner. So this is really, really awesome. I never owned Rainbow Bright as a child. Of course, I think I was a little bit older then when it came out. I think it was like nine or 10. Um, but I always, I had a, a next door neighbor. She really uh, loved Rainbow Bright then, had a few things. I loved playing with the dolls, um, but I always wanted it. So this is the beginning of my Rainbow Bright collection. Um, you guys may notice as well, 1983, of course, they, uh, Mattel had, had got these out. As you can see on the very back, you can see uh, the horse, which is very rare now, um, as well as Rainbow Bright. You can find them a lot loose on eBay and Macari. However, it's very, very hard to find the 1983 mitten box. If you do find it, it's for, you know, anywhere from 200, 300, 400 and up. The pony is even way more than that. And then you see Red Butler there, as well as Patio Green and the Canary Yellow as well. So, um, this basically starts out my Rainbow Bright collection. Also as well, in 2003, later on after the 1983 issues, that would have been what, Darren, about 30 years later? I'm trying to rack his brain here. Uh, no, let's see, 93, through about, excuse me, 93, Give 93. me the math again. Uh, it's from mm -hmm. 1983 to 2003, so that would have been about 20, 20 years. years. Yeah. So 20 years later, Rainbow Brain, I don't know if it was Mattel, um, so I'm not going to say it was. If you know it, please let us know in the comments below if it was Mattel or not. But they reissued Rainbow Bright again, and I actually have one piece of the 2003. I believe I still have, actually I think it is the Red Butler that I have left um, in my inventory. But uh, they reissued Rainbow Bright again, so you can get the dolls, you can get the villain, you can get the different, um, the different characters as well as the pony, and I believe the Rainbow Bright uh, puppy as well. So they reissued all of that again. So what I'm coming, what I'm trying to say here is, is if you are wanting to collect Rainbow Bright in your inventory or collection, don't be scared of the reissues coming out because those are just as much collectible, if not more, down the road than than the original here so i've done that with my strawberry shortcake collection i have the vintage as well as mitten box from the 30th anniversary of uh, the 40th anniversary and onward and as well as i'm starting to where i have uh, the 80s 1983 pieces as well as uh, the ones from uh, 2003 and onward so just because they were reissued don't does not mean that they're worth you know they're worth less or worth less um, begin to collect those even after the time that they're giving them out because in time, as time passes, you're going to see that they're going to be worth more and more, especially if they reissue or they add um, different uh, characters as an anniversary collection. Right. So I'm going to get done talking here. Thank you so much, Darren. I am so excited and so glad that you helped me start my Rainbow Bright collection from 1983. And now, guys, I'm going to get to present to him his Valentine gifts from me to him. Happy Valentine's Day. Thank you. Bye. We're doing a little bit late because mine came in late. Thank you very much, Mr. Mr. Snow. We all know that. So the snow and the fact that I didn't realize it was going to take two weeks for delivery. Well, let's move on to And it. I was giving her grief about it, too, because I've had mine in for two weeks. He was. All right. <laughs> all right, let's open this up. First I'm off, like... we got these items from Minnie Matt Moo's shop, okay? So if you want items, you can get items that are personalized to you from Minnie Matt Moo. You can put your name on it, etc. So it forth. is actually on, if you go to zazzle.com and you can type in Minnie Matt Moo's designs. Yeah. And if you want me to, to put the link in the description below, I will I do that. I would put it in the link because um, people may want some of this. So, stuff yes. So I for want, their own shop. And you stuff. don't know what it is. All right. Are we ready? I'm ready. Let's do All it. All right. Let's see what she's done to me here. If she's got me something like on here in a birthday suit, fat and stuff, I'm not showing it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's see. All right, well, here we go. From Darren to Kathy. No. Yep. To Darren from Kathy. There we go. Happy Valentine's yeah. Day. 
Oh, this is awesome. This is our new symbol that we've had worked up, guys. And so, what to explain, because I designed it. Yeah. Um, if you see the brown, brown little, what well, looks like a house, it's actually, right here so it's actually our toy barn. So, the one, the Mad Cat Toys toy barn that you see in our other videos. <laughs> and if you notice on the very top, you will see our logo. So, it is the MCT Bear. Uh, of course, is uh, it's MCT Panda. That's Andy. Which it stands for Mad Cat Toys. Yeah. And um, he is on the top. So exactly. That Darren said to me last week, the last couple weeks, he said, I would really like a mouse pad that shows our logo and name and everything. And so that was an idea. Well, let me show you the one why she's showing you that, that I have been using literally for about 15 years here. Why I work. Look how ugly. I have been wearing <laughs> this thing out from Smithville, which is one of our local service providers of internet service and all that and i have not had smithfield for probably about six years we'll see how we'll see the back of it yeah, so he and is i have to be wore this thing out and but thin I and it. dusty and crazy yeah it it it's not got a whole lot of love mm -hmm. but uh, it's time for an upgrade and if i'm going to upgrade especially when we get a new shop and i have another office in that shop not counting what i've got in the toy barn i want to have Everything so I have a question. To run that. I have a question, Darren. Is yeah. that mouse pad that's in front of you, the new one, is it thicker than the other one? It's about. Does it feel like it? Two, two and a half times thicker from wow. the girth. Look at quality look at, for the wrist. It, you have quality. I mean, let me give, let me do this for you, okay? Here's mine with Madcap Toys from Mini Mat Moo, and here's the one, which, by the way, I am thankful they gave it to me. They didn't have to do it. But Smithville provided it. Yeah, too. so we're not, okay? we're not so downing, downing the company. The we're company. just letting you know where. Because free is free. Free is so free. You, you take and be thankful for what you get, right? But I like the fact that one's thicker right. and it's Look better. at that. If you feel the quality of it, that's a big thing. And if you and guys also, are, are, you know, watching mm -hmm. us and love us and you're already subscribed, even if you're not, go ahead and do it right now. Um, and you want some of this merch um, for we your do, home office we or whatever, will be offering it. We, we, I've got the link down below. Go ahead and, and click it, and you can go ahead and order this. Yeah, make All sure right. you put that link in there for Absolutely. them in case they want one, even if they put, you know, Bob's shop or whatever. Right, exactly. Cases. Okay, guys. Uh, anyway, a good thing about this size here is I also believe from my time of working in electronics that a lot of times the thickness is important because it helps uh, with the static shock that may occur when you're working with electronic items. Exactly. Okay, let's see what's in here. All righty. Oh, my. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> oh, this is a big one, too. <laughs> well, it'll shrink. It'll shrink. All right, I've got this. Madcap Toys. Subscribe to Madcap Toys' YouTube channel. It also shows on the back, which I'm pretty large, by the way. No, Doesn't you're fine. Uh, eBay. YouTube and Macari. Which means that's where you can find Mad right. Cat Toys if you want to shop eBay and Macari. And then, of course, you can subscribe to us. On and YouTube I also website. have one in black, but it's a basic subscribe to Mad Cat Toys YouTube channel, basically. But uh, I cannot get enough of these shirts, uh, and I hope to keep getting more because, quite honestly, with you, I've got two guys up at our local, what is that shop? Uh, Penguins that mm -hmm. we go up to. They want, uh, they asked if they could have a, a shirt and I told them I'd get them one and just give it to them. And also I've got a granddaughter that said, Papa, can I please get one of these shirts eventually and wear it to school? So I said, yeah, I'll get you one in time. But uh, I go through these shirts because I like to wear them just because they're easy to put on. It's a good, easy work uniform. It advertises while you're out and about doing your business, your runs, whether to the bank to the stores to get whatever supplies you need or whatever. Uh, so these shirts are also available at Mini Mat Moves. Um, Designs, but I'll put yeah. it in the link in the description, YouTube description. Right. So Darren, what what if you could look at the tag uh, on the t-shirt? What a brand! I'm curious because they're quality t-shirts. Um, you know, outfit designs to make sure. Well, it says Hanes. Hanes, okay, yeah. so good. Extra large Hanes. So Hanes is good and so very quality. Works for me. Very quality. And you can, there's different various sizes, guys. Yes. This one is extra large. He likes extra large. They do, they, I'm sure they shrink some, but he likes the larger ones. Yeah. And so that's why, for the I reason for that. This here, so you exactly. Can get a good so that's the back of it right there. The eBay, YouTube, and the Macari, Macari. symbol. And then, of course, the front that shows Mad Cat Toys and then the subscribe button. Very important. This is, 
Another thing that we're starting up big time that we're a little slow on the eight ball because many of you guys will look at my YouTube channel and say, well, it's been on there about four or five years. And, you know, you're barely over a thousand subs. Guys, that's my fault because quite honestly, I had started it and I've not done nothing with it. So we're really starting to push it and merchandising and branding yourself is very important if you want to do any business. And we found that out through years of work on Madcap Toys, but we're starting to do it now with our YouTube channel. And I'll tell you what, I really thank each and every one of you guys that's uh, subscribed to us on YouTube because you've helped make us what we are to do day, what little we are. We thank you for it because you guys don't watch it. Nobody does. So, but uh, yeah. by the way, I want to thank Kathy for these gifts because they're going to be awesome. You know, I'm going to have a little angel named Ellie's going to want one. So Papal's going to have to get her one of these too. It's next time Papal gets paid. <laughs> exactly. All right. So we're going to wrap this up, guys. If uh, you haven't already, go ahead and like the, the video. Comment. We'd love to hear your comments today about the video itself. Yep. And if you haven't um, hit the notification button, go ahead and do that. You'll Smash know about, that bell. Exactly. You're going to know yep. about every video that we've uploaded. And every comment stuff. you guys give us, if you have a question, don't, don't hesitate to ask. We're happy to answer them. I don't care what the question is because, you know, guys, that's the way everybody learns. There is no stupid question except for the one not asked. So exactly. just feel free to stop by and say, hey, if we ever have a chance to see you when I have another store building open when all this craziness is over with. All right, guys. Until next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.